go to the front. Okay. You, you can take a photo. Nice, thank you so much. 176 year olds. 176. <laughs> the moon. Yeah, the moon. The moon, yeah. Good temple. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe scratch off icon Siam and add this to your list. Look at the contrast between the temple and the condo. Hello everybody and welcome to Nantaburi in Bangkok, Thailand. Today we're exploring this area that doesn't too often get covered. We want to go and check out market, a couple temples maybe, definitely have some food. It's nice and early right now, so first we're going to start off with some food for sure. But this is the purple line that we just got off, which we've never taken before. Incredible, really, really easy to use, very well laid out, and it takes you definitely to a different side of Bangkok, that's for sure. But let's go and check out Nantaburi. And just have a look at the skyline here. It definitely looks different than uh, your typical Khao San area. And uh, it's nice. It's nice to be in a different part of Bangkok. It definitely feels much more laid back, not as chaotic as usual. Yeah, I find it so, so interesting. We've never been in uh, Nantaburi and this is our very, very first, first time and I think it's crazy to see how the different areas of Bangkok really differ so much um, because we are like, I don't know, we took two trains, three trains, three trains actually but it was relatively quick and yet it feels like we are in a completely different city but uh, yeah, we're just gonna check out the market first I think to get some food and then also go and check out some temples maybe as Luke already said and uh, wow, check this out. Doesn't get really much more local than this, does it? Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice change of pace for sure. From even where we're staying, like we're staying, as we said before, Ram Kam Heng, it's pretty local. But this is even further out. Like we are out in the sticks right now, if you will, here in Bangkok. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a slower pace, much more easier going. And hopefully we can find some nice nice food to start the day off for sure for sure i'm hungry already let's see okay and here we are already tonsak market now this seems to be somewhat of an outside inside market situation yep. where you have like a roof but you're still kind of outside and uh, i can already see lots of different uh street vendors street food vendors uh different stands and uh some small little stores as well. Very interesting. Cannot wait to check this part out. So, so hungry as well. We haven't had anything to eat yet. We're starving. So we found ourselves a stand that makes very, very interesting coffee. We both went with the iced cocoa espresso. And it's actually very funny. Uh, this market is so local. Obviously you have the name in English, but then this part here is um, completely in Thai, obviously. Wait a second, I need to turn you guys around. Okay, uh, that part is completely in Thai and also uh, a lot of the market stands actually have the menus all in Thai. There's no um, English whatsoever for the biggest part, so we don't actually know what we're ordering or what we're looking at for the majority of this market, but that's all right. Um, so we both went with the iced cocoa espresso. No idea what the cocoa part is. Maybe there is just like a coconut milk in there or maybe some coconut shavings. It kind of looks a little bit like coconut shavings. Um, but yeah, very interested in actually trying this. They have a very serious amount of selection of different types of food here. They also have live music playing, if you can hear that. And um, the atmosphere here is absolutely Amazing. Much like everywhere, every Bangkok market, every Thai market, it's always really, really good, very positive, and uh, we love it. This is exactly the reason why we love Thailand so much. I'm actually getting emotional just being here. I'm surrounded by food, I'm surrounded by happy people, and I'm surrounded by amazing smells as well. And yeah, we're waiting right now for our coffee. Cup, cup, bye bye. Yes. Oh, 
you here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the pork. The pork. Pork everywhere. There's a... Uh, they've really fit everything into sort of one, one space here. And as I said, guys, the, the live music is amazing. To have it in the background, especially while you're eating with your friends, your family, or your partner, it's so nice. Naomi's struggling. I'm not struggling, I'm poking <laughs> the coconut part because I want to oh. understand if it's the coconut meat or maybe ice cream or oh. what it is actually. Yeah. But um, it, uh, it doesn't give give away, so it, it, like you cannot poke it into pieces, so I think it's a little bit of coconut meat probably. Nice. I was thinking for a second it was like ice cream because it looks like ice cream. Very nice. Yeah. Tastes a little bit like they made it uh, with coconut water and coconut milk together because you have a little bit of like, you know the way coconut water is a little bit salty, like you can taste the electrolytes in your face. So it tastes like espresso obviously and then uh, some electrolyte salty and uh, sweet and creamy from the milk. So I think it's a little bit of like a mixture of it all. Ooh. Very, Very excited, nice, excited to try mine now. Yeah, I think we're gonna wander around and enjoy our drinks. And we're gonna try and pick something out to have to eat. There seems to be a lot of different options. There's a lot of stalls mixed in with kind of restaurants and stuff like that as well. Every corner is uh, basically a big row of different options and different types. You've got sweet food, savory food, everything that you can really think of is right here. So, what a great place to start off our exploration around Nantaburi. This is amazing. Uh, this one. We found our first uh, meal of the day, guys. This place here, I'm again, no idea what it's called because a lot of it is in Thai, but they do have an English menu as well. So we just ordered a scrambled egg with stir-fried crispy pork in Thai basil sauce. I think it's called pepper and salt. Now, this is the place that I was thinking um, to get food from because I saw that there are some really nice looking spring rolls. Just these ones here, but I don't really know what they are made of, so I will have to... Google Translate, one second, to actually understand what I'm looking at. Oh. Tuna salad roll sounds really nice. What are you thinking of tuna salad roll? That sounds good. That's the menu. <laughs> tuna salad roll, that looks really good. It might go well with what we have because it's like a more okay. fresher. Let's get the tuna, tuna salad roll. You can also get crab stick salad roll. Nori roll, oh, tuna salad roll sounds nice enough. 59 baht. I think this is actually the first time that we are on a market and we are getting a choice of different foods between the very, very snacky foods and also very healthy foods. So usually what we do is we go all out with the crispy pork and all of the deep fried stuff and whatever. But this time around I actually got something salad-y that is a little bit more on the healthy side and I'm very, very curious to try that as well because I've never actually tried these types of, um, I don't know, spring rolls, salad rolls, something like that. I've never had anything like it. Kapunka. <laughs> Thank you. That looks epic. That looks amazing. Oh my god. Are you excited to try the food? So excited. Can't even describe how hungry I am. I woke up this morning and I literally just since Feeling I woke like up I'm just like oh my god I need some food. And that's the whole reason why we decided to come here as kind of the first stop of the day. We knew there was going to be some good food. We had a look at this place on Google online and it said there's some very good local food here. Now, these are very interesting looking. They almost look like like a Vietnamese style clear spring roll type of, um, but it looks like a tuna torpedo basically. Because it's like here at the front and then it has like the blast from Would the Would you mind explaining the, explaining the torpedo part? Yeah. <laughs> it's very well sealed. 
But I'm gonna try and get inside here. I got in. Oh. And now uh, look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. Very, very fresh from what I can tell as well. And we have a nice big tub of what they said is spicy sauce. So I'm a little bit nervous because when a local tells you that the sauce is spicy, it means it's gonna be very spicy. So what I'm gonna do is just basically take one, dip it in, and go for it. See how it is. They're all kind of stuck together. They're kind of all just blended into one spring roll at the moment. So I'm gonna try and take one off. There I we think go. it's the rice paper. Rice that's paper, why. yeah. Have a look at this, guys. Absolutely packed full of veg in there. And tuna, you and can tuna. see. And tuna, good bit of tuna in there too. Here we go. Straight into this sauce. Whatever type of sauce this is, I'm not too sure. Mmm, mm. this sauce is really good. What is it? I don't know. I can't even tell what it is, but it's really good. It tastes like, um, kind of like lemony. I don't really know how to properly de describe it, but it definitely has a kick. So when I initially put it in my mouth, I was like, this is not spicy at all. But now my eyes are starting to water already. <laughs> but it's not like a typical like Thai chili spice where it kind of creeps up on you. It just kicks in immediately and it's already starting to go away. So it's just kind of like a flavorful spice. But these are really tasty. Should definitely give these a try you want to give them a try yeah trying to peel back one of these beautiful looking rolls wow the colors now the colors are so beautiful with the orange and the green yep. i'm gonna hold it on the torpedo bits as <laughs> luke called them mm. oh yeah it smells lemony I like that a lot. It's a very big roll. I'm sorry, I have to chew. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy to chew chew. Mm. Did you say it's not easy to chew chew? Yep. <laughs> wow, yeah, it's very spicy. The This sauce actually, it's super, super tasty. Like it tastes um, sort of vinegary, lemongrassy, but then also very spicy. It doesn't look like a spicy sauce, but it is a spicy sauce. It's probably like green chili or something like that. But um, yeah, absolutely amazing find. Also, 60 baht or 59 baht for the portion. It's like one euro 50. And it's quite a large portion size, as you can see. It's like 10 rolls. Yeah. I think that would be a sufficient lunch. Oh yeah, you're gonna to be full if you eat all of this. Yeah, yeah 100%. Now this is the one that I am dying to try. It just looks like a mountain of flavor. If you want to, we can exchange back give this a try guys this looks absolutely crazy scrambled egg as far as I'm aware a lot of scrambled egg ac action on top of a mountain of rice with crispy pork and then you also have like the fish chili sauce that comes typically with crispy mm. pork in Thailand huge you also chunks have as well of the pork no? huge chunks of pork yeah this is like really really good value for money I can already tell you that I'm gonna go straight in, mix in some of the eggs with that rice. Obviously get a piece of crispy pork in there too. Some egg yolk, some chili, some holy basil. Holy basil. Holy basil, make you wanna bless yourself after you eat it. Here we go. This looks like a very good mouthful of uh, Thai flavors right here. Oh my god. That is absolutely amazing. Very spicy. Immediately. The chilies punched me in the throat almost. But the flavor of that crispy pork is incredible. The egg taste as well is so nice. It's like a velvety egg. And then the rice kind of just soaks it all up and blends everything together into a beautiful texture. This is fantastic. I'm gonna have another bite of this, just one sec. 
I really love the egg yolk. Let's get it onto one spoon here. A little bit of rice on this one. Mm. Unreal. Genuinely unreal. So, the selection of stands here is almost kind of intimidating once you walk in. It is like a day market. It's literally the middle of the day here now. And it is quite busy, but the selection almost will throw you off. But if you guys are coming for the first time to this market, I would highly recommend you to check out these two stands that we just went to. This is unbelievable. One more spoon here. I can't stop. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. You're going to love this as well. Naomi, Naomi's going to enjoy this too. I'm already starting to get the sweats from the spice. By the way, you guys, what I find super, super interesting is that since the second we changed from the blue line actually onto the purple line, um, we haven't seen a single tourist or a single white person because right now, like rainy season is just ending and dry season is beginning, which means that main tourist season here in Thailand is about to start off to kickstart and um, there's so so many tourists in Bangkok already so like so many more than the last time we were here I don't know the last time we were here was like what six months ago or something like that and there were still a lot of white people but not this many white people um, but yeah since the second we have been on the purple line not a single foreigner very very sort of local experience and uh, this time around since we have arrived in Bangkok it's actually the first time that we are like the single, the only foreigners basically in a market, which is a very, very cool experience. And it also very much speaks for this market because if the local people like the food here, means that it's worth your money. Yes, guys, so that was a quick little look into Ton Sak Market. Now we're gonna make our way towards, we don't even know to be honest, we're just gonna go and explore the area of Nantaburi. There's a lot to see here and there's a lot that hasn't really been covered when, from what we can see on YouTube. So we just put in a couple of random places that we're gonna go and check out today and um, hopefully they are enjoyable. But this place here, Tonsak Market, unbelievable. Here we have some local fruit vendors. <laughs> Sorry, Gav. Wow, it feels amazing to be in the sort of uh, tucked away streets of Bangkok. It really does feel different out here. Like I was saying at the beginning of this video, it feels very different to a lot of the other areas like Icon Siam, Central World, places like this. Um, a lot of the more central areas it feels almost sort of overly congested but here it's nice and peaceful yes you are like you were walking we're walking through residential areas and stuff like that but it doesn't feel like it's overly developed or anything like that it just feels like a very laid-back relaxed friendly environment These are the types of areas that uh, made us fall in love with Bangkok the first time that we visited, for sure. I always feel like a lot of these places look like um, from Studio Ghibli or Studio Ghibli, as uh, English speakers would say. Check out this huge vegetable vending truck, wow. Any whoosies, a lot of the streets here look like uh, from Studio Ghibli, like from my neighbor Totoro or something like that. Where like you, you know, you walk down an alleyway and you don't know what's gonna end, uh, wait for you at the end of the alleyway or stuff like that. I don't know, I'm just, I'm so in love with Bangkok and uh, the different areas as well, depending on where you go. Now, obviously, as I keep saying, we are speaking so positively. This is also a situation uh, that does exist in Bangkok, so don't think that everything is so clean and so perfect all of the time. But um, yeah, the nitty gritty parts of the big cities belong to the big cities. So, uh, but this is a nitty gritty part that I can live with. And I think Luke as well. Yeah, the positives 
heavily outweigh the negatives in a big way when it comes to Bangkok. And this here, believe it or not, is the temple that we were looking for. And how cool does this look? Proper old school building. And just behind here, I believe, is Wat Noi Nok. And facing it, you have this too. A lot of makeshift houses. Look at this. Oh. This is incredible. It looks, to be honest, on this side here, pretty broken down. Um, I'm sure. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Sadi Kab. <laughs> this is your house. Your home. home. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? What? No. No. Yeah, what noi nok? Oh, good temple. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. This hall is one big house. Yeah. Oh, wow. Kop kun kab. Sali kab. We go look, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How nice our day. Oh, gorgeous locals. I literally was amazed by looking at the this this just general structure, and it turns out that they literally just came outside and they were like immediately started talking to us. But I wish that we had some more Thai because it's so difficult to yeah. properly conversate with people um, in those situations. I wanted to ask them about the situation that they're living in. And they said, uh, this is exactly what we're looking for. And oh my God, look at that. Look at the <laughs> contrast between the temple and the condo. But that really shows you how little Farangs come into this area if the people are starting to come out of their houses just to speak to you and say hello, yep. maybe show you around or something like that. It's uh, usually a sign of uh, very, very little foreigners. Yeah. But wow, it's so white. It's such a crazy contrast as well. With crazy the, contrast. With the condos in the back. You've got the massive, <laughs> huge condo building behind this gorgeous gorgeous temple wow uh, let's see if we can uh, have a look and this like I said guys believe it believe it or not this temple is supposedly a place where people do cremate their pets sometimes so interesting I'm not too sure where that would occur, where people would be doing that. But this is a very interesting layout. And here, I believe, is where the actual monks would be living from this temple. Uh, so around the corner there is where we just met those amazing locals. But um, let's see if we can have a look here. This looks amazing. Take yeah, your shoes off. Take your shoes off for sure. I love the the fence here, it's like the the dama wheel. Wow, this is amazing. Look at these beautiful flags as well. I'm scared of touching them, but I think uh, this flag here has the dama wheel probably on it. And then you have some different deities. Save you and save me. Oh, this is a disinfection station. For a second, I thought, for a second, I thought that this belonged to the temple, but it's a disinfection station. Luke is in awe. This is amazing. <laughs> I really can't believe just how beautiful this is. And uh, like we were just saying, guys, the stark contrast between modern Bangkok and this part of Bangkok is really interesting. The last thing that I can remember that there was this much of a contrast was when we were in 
Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia, believe it or not, they have a place that's called Kampung Baru. And you have an old neighborhood contrasted by massive modern skyscrapers. And uh, it makes it very interesting. Oh, he's asking if you want to go inside, oh. if you should open the door. There's a monk coming. Oh, now you can see the flag. I was so scared of opening the flag. It's a Dhamma wheel, no? Dhamma chakra. I think so, yeah. Hello, Sadika. Sadika. <laughs> <laughs> Can look. The dog over there is not happy. My God. It's very dark. Oh, now you can see. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Crazy that he just opened the door for us just like that. Just opened it and was just like, here you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> Very beautiful wallpaper they have here now. <laughs> okay, the wallpaper. It's very nice. Oh, it's so beautiful. Genuinely amazed by the generosity of the people here. Again, cannot say this enough. This is why we love Thailand. Unbelievable. We just casually showed up here to this temple and you saw what happened. The monk literally just came over and was like, welcome, come in, have a look, see what it's all about. And we just spent a good 10 minutes basically just standing in awe and taking some pictures of the inside. And the whole surrounding here is just gorgeous. We're literally slap bang in the middle of a residential area here in Bangkok. And uh, yeah, this is just something else. There seems to be a wall actually that looks very interesting. It's like a white wall that has a lot of different sculptures and stuff like that. So let's uh, go and check that out. Ice cream vendor just went past. I don't know if you heard the do 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 do, and he nearly fell off his cart because he wasn't <laughs> expecting foreigners here. <laughs> really funny. He was like, "Holy, holy! Oh my God!" <laughs> Have a look at this, guys. Those are the different stages of Buddhas, right? Different stages different, of enlightenment. Uh, yeah, different stages in his life. Oh, look oh, at this. Yeah, unbelievable. I'm almost uh, <laughs> entirely speechless here, guys, to be honest. Look at this. This is just... Says everything. I don't even need, really need to describe this for you guys but i'm not too sure now what the different depictions are this one here obviously is the famous reclining buddha and um, there's a lot of different stages and um, not at all properly educated in terms of as uh, which individual stages mean what but this is just Perfection. Very cool to see here actually. Uh, I just saw it there that some of the gold, it looked like it was coming off, but it's actually um, from the offerings from people. So people would buy this like thin leaf gold and then put it onto the Buddha as their own offering. And you can see here one of the results of it. It's so beautiful. Um, different stages of gold different thickness of gold and so on especially in the head regions in the face region it seems to be um, a lot of gold on there a lot of layers of gold very cool to see check out this beautiful gate wow so colorful with the bright 
red and the bright green and all of the gold. It's very, very beautiful, actually. One of the more beautiful gates. Obviously, a lot of the neighborhoods um, have these types of gates. And usually they're all decorated a little bit different depending on where they are in the city and who lives in the neighborhood and what is going on in the neighborhood and so on. But this one is one of the more beautiful ones, I want to say. No? Gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. This whole Nantaburi, or I don't know, I'm always mispronouncing everything. Nantaburi. Nantaburi. This area <laughs> is beautiful. People are so friendly and we are genuinely, I'm not just saying this, the only tourists here. So come here if it's not on your list. Maybe scratch off icon Siam and add this to your list if you're coming to Bangkok. Yeah, just take the purple line and then you, you'll find your way into this neighborhood. All right, you guys, quick grab ride later. We actually just paid like 112 baht or something like that to get out here. So nearly three euro, I believe. Any users, uh, we now arrived in Chalum Ganch. Kanchanapisek Park. <laughs> Chalum Kanchanapisek Park. So that's where we just arrived. Oh my god, there's a turkey. Oh my god, I'm so scared of turkeys. Really? I'm really scared. When I was a child, we went to the Czech Republic and one of the turkeys was chasing me the entire time. So since then, I'm a little bit like wary of turkeys. They're sort of aggressive creatures, I feel like. They're not, not super peaceful. But a cool looking dude. Well, let's walk around and have a look what this park actually has to offer. <laughs> wow guys, absolutely gorgeous. Once again, welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. Might be something that you might not have seen yet in a lot of the Bangkok videos. This is absolutely gorgeous. Really, something else. Something that we didn't expect at all today. Uh, we walked into the park as you guys just saw and there was someone feeding massive catfish. And now this, slap bang in the middle of this lake. So picturesque. Is that a turtle? It's head out there. Oh yeah, it is, it a, is turtle. a turtle. Oh my god, it's a turtle. <laughs> so far in Bangkok, our favorite park has been Lumpini Park because of the amount of monitor lizards, the amount of fish in the water and how peaceful it is and so on. But I think this park, which name I still cannot uh, pronounce, uh, might take the first place actually. I think this might be our new favorite park in Bangkok um, very very strong local vibes so so many people are here out and about with their families um, it's very very peaceful actually a lot of people are running around and uh, working out on this Saturday and uh, so many people are feeding the fish just relaxing sort of um, it's very laid back and it's really like we saw online that it's like a water type of park like it's directly beside the big uh, river so it's a water type of park but it's actually a water park I, I was just looking online and I was like oh yeah probably like artificially man-made lakes or something like that but I think all of the water here is actually coming from the river and it just sort of uh, feeds into this park and I think they just put like these canal uh, walls up so that the water doesn't flood the entire park area but uh, yeah so so beautiful very tranquil very nice uh, definitely our new number one I want to say you guys we just walked to the edge of the park to go to the Chao Paraya river that you can see here right now and it, the water is so unbelievably high because of the end of rainy season that the site here where you would usually be able to walk is completely flooded. Yeah, actually, I, w I came here because I wanted to see the bridge and the Para uh, Chao Paraya River. But yeah, this is insane. Absolutely crazy how high the water is here. Wow, you guys, check out this beautiful area here. We're still directly beside the uh, Chao Paraya River here. 
just where the flooded area is is basically over there we didn't walk so far and uh, how beautiful is this area here now at the moment there seems to be some sort of a fence I think maybe you're not allowed to go in or I don't know maybe they're renovating <laughs> or something like that but wow how stunning is that I love the reds combined with the gold and this beautiful architecture typical Thai traditional architecture it's just so so stunning I cannot believe it and that's just randomly in a park and behind it actually on the other side there you can see another one of these beautiful houses that look a little bit like I don't know I want to say maybe a little bit like a temple or something like that but not quite like a temple because obviously now the Buddha parts are missing the temple parts the offerings and so on they're missing but um, the architecture sort of like a temple maybe it's just a pavilion that belongs to the park I don't know there is a beautiful supposedly beautiful we haven't seen it yet riverside temple that is a part of this community and it is called one second I have my phone here I have it saved on my phone what Chaloem Prakyat and uh, I think that's where we're gonna head to next I can't believe that the river is overflowing it's literally it's <laughs> crazy just look at that like, yeah usually you would be able to walk in this area all the way to the fencing part over there actually the last time we saw the Chao Paraya river um, was the hidden Bangkok tour probably something like that yep. and uh, there was no high water levels at all so yeah it was actually quite low because it was end of dry season when we were here the last time seeing it in this situation insane S unbelievable what is going on Bangkok <laughs> what is going on everywhere it's just something out of this world I just don't understand anymore what you're doing it's just the most beautiful city we came into this park expecting a park we didn't expect an absolute paradise something out of a storybook honestly did you think this would be just in the middle of a park no this looks like it belongs into like a protected zone or something like protected archaeological zone or some, something like that oh my god it's so beautiful it should be Crazy. like in a museum yeah like people should ask for entry for you to be able to see it I don't know, but it is uh, something else, Do really think, something else. Do you think it's for the sole purpose of decoration or is it for like maybe special events or religious yeah. things? It even has a chandelier. There's a chandelier <laughs> on the inside of it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but it's literally fun. just in the middle there. Please let us know down in the comments what exactly this is actually used for it's gorgeous it's, it feels like we just uh, found like a castle in the middle of this middle of this park and it's not small either it's massive <laughs> it's video, video. <laughs> we just walked ourselves out of the park uh, towards the temple area, actually towards the large pagoda that you can see here. And uh, there's a giant place here for teens and kids and everybody to work out, I believe, to play tennis. Sadika! <laughs> really nice to see how everybody comes together on the weekend and works out it's amazing such a welcoming community around here to be honest uh, we just literally had to leave the park that we were in make like a bit of a u-turn through this community here and there's a lot going on and i'm very excited now to have a look at this temple because uh this is kind of what we were working towards today we were like we're gonna make our way 
to the riverside and check out this amazing temple. Exactly, and this pagoda here, wait, I don't know if you can see that, probably not. No, this pagoda is actually so big that you can see it from the motorway when you cross the river. You see the top of the pagoda, uh, which is really, really cool. And uh, yeah, this temple is absolutely massive. I've never seen, I think I've never seen a pagoda this big in my life before. Sri Lanka has some pretty large pagodas, but I'm not sure if they're this big actually. This one looks a little bit larger, crazy. Well, this is how big it is. <laughs> it's very tall. Unbelievable, I cannot, can't even really comprehend. I didn't understand really what we were walking towards. I didn't realize you could walk directly up to the base of the pagoda and stand directly underneath it. It's an unbelievable view and it puts into perspective just how large this thing is and then um, just behind here is the river again and i believe there's more temple to check out here now what you would usually do i believe with one of these pagodas wouldn't you usually do walking meditation yes exactly. around it around or it, is yeah. it just uh, is it just a bodhi tree no no i do believe you can do it around the pagodas as well the oh. crow is doing it <laughs> the crow is doing walking meditation, you mean flying meditation. Yeah, I don't really want to disturb people if they're doing meditation. But there is a, a little door. I believe the lady was pointing at the door over there. Maybe we can have a look. Wow. So beautiful and colorful. Oh, and on the other side, in the when you walk through the gate over there, there seems to be another temple um, in the little garden with the water features and uh, there's a papaya tree here growing directly on the temple territory. Absolutely crazy. Should we walk up? Leave our shoes here? I don't know if only monks are allowed but uh, usually these types of places are pretty accessible for everybody so let's just take our shoes off. Oh no, somebody is meditating there. I don't know if you can see it, somebody is meditating over there. It looks like there's a room that is completely made out of gold. Maybe if we're very quiet, we can walk up. Okay, <laughs> can I? Oh! <laughs> walk around. The side? The side? Ah, in the front, from this side. Okay. This is back. Okay, I go front. <laughs> Come Kunka. Very friendly man. I was on the wrong side. Don't know if Luke actually knows where I'm going, but... Uh, oh, it's so beautiful. Yes, you can come. I can come? Yeah, you, you, I, I think you're, you're, you're with the, the, the net, net up B, up B. Oh. Uh, so, so that bit, uh, in fun. Yeah, in, in the environment and it's cool. Oh, wow. If, if you, you go <laughs> down, down side. And, mm -hmm. uh, and you can see the roof. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Then after coming. Very meditating, uh, no? Uh, but there are many, many, many kinds of birds here. Since our tree is more than 100 years old. Oh, beautiful. Uh, Last, last month, two group of Korean too, they, they come to see the bird. Mm. They, they bring their telescope camera <laughs> to, to, to see the bird. There are many, many kinds of the bird here. See the bird, yeah. Yes, yes. Must be many birds, you can hear them. Oh, wow, thank you so much. A big one. You're welcome. You're thank welcome. you so much. Kapkunaka. From here you can see how beautiful it is. Oh, I left my shoes on the other side. <laughs> I also left Luke on the other side. I don't know where Luke is. My shoes are... Oh. Yeah. Come with one. Okay. Go to the front. Okay. You can take photo. Nice, thank you so much. 
ดีค่ะมาดูฟิร์สไทม์ใช่ใช่ไอร์แลนด์ใช่ไหมใช่ฉันจากไอร์แลนด์และแม่ของฉันจากเยอรมนีเขาอยู่ที่ไหนอยู่ที่ไหนอ๋อไม่ใช่แค่ไปเที่ยวเยูทูบเบอร์ใช่ไหมใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่Today we have uh, like the activity something. Oh wow! Thank you. Oh. 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 Seventy-six year olds. Hundred seventy-six. Whoa. In in favor of his mother. Yeah. Really beautiful. This pagoda shape is uh, according to Lanka, Lang Lanka, Sri Lanka. Yes. yes yeah. Yes. Yeah. We 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 call pag pagoda shape in in. In Lanka. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Lang, lang, Lanka shape. Yeah, yeah. Look, look like this. We were in uh, Sri Lanka before. Yes, yes. In Anuradhapura. Uh -huh. We were looking at the uh, pagoda yeah. in Sri Lanka. It, it, it is 45 meters. Whoa. 45 meters. <laughs> the moon. Yeah, the moon. The moon, yeah. Oh. Can you see? Oh, yeah, you see the moon from here. Unbelievable. So beautiful. Also over there is their garden. Yeah. Yeah, you come in front. Yeah. In the river. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you can give food to fish. <laughs> oh, no. nice. <laughs> Very big fish. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.